Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Pemberton's sign, which is one of the signs we look for during the thyroid examination in surgical posting. A positive Pemberton's sign is described as the development of facial flushing, neck distension, engorged neck veins, strider, and raised JV pages, when a patient raises and holds the arms above the head. The associated conditions of this Pemberton's sign are retrosternal or substernal goiter, or tumor in the neck. Let's look at the mechanism of this Pemberton sign. When the arms are raised, the ring of the thoracic inlet is brought upwards and gets stuck on the goiter. The goiter is said to cork the thoracic inlet, and in doing so, compress the adjacent internal jugular veins. Blood backs up, causing distension of the neck veins and facial plethora. Causing a positive Pemberton sign, strider occurs with pressure on the upper airway from any mass, be it tumor or goiter. Another alternative mechanism to the cork hypothesis is when the patient raises both his arms, the movement of the clavicles obstruct the neck vessels, specifically the right external jugular and subclavian vein confluence. This is a diagram to further illustrate the mechanism for the cork hypothesis. This is the thoracic inlet, which is the neck of the bottle. In normal thyroid, the thyroid is too small to obstruct the thoracic inlet. But if there is a substernal goiter, when the patient raises his arms, it will pull the thoracic inlet up into the goiter, which is similar to inserting a cock into the neck of bottle. This then compress the nearby internal jugular veins, then producing a positive Pemberton sign. That's all for this video. Thank you.